What's up friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Dolly and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to watch another video. I really do appreciate and love you so, so, so much. So as you've seen in the title, today we're going to be reading a few Reddit posts. I'm going to be judging some of these people on here because they want to know if they're assholes or not. And as the judge, the jury and the prosecution, we have every right to let them know if they are assholes or not. So let's get straight into it. We're going to be doing boyfriend, girlfriends, husbands, wives because that's my area of expertise. So yeah. Let's get straight so into says, it. Am I the Basically. asshole for telling my boyfriend his mom needs to move out? Um, a lot of people seem to think that you are not an asshole, but I will be the judge. We will be the judge of that because they may be wrong, okay? They may be so wrong about this whole thing, and I'm here to tell them right now whether you're an asshole. So it's I. 39 female have been dating my boyfriend for around six years and we lived together oh my god Woo. a couple of years ago my boyfriend's mom got diagnosed with alzheimer's she was living in an assisted living facility for most of that time but as she gotten worse she's needed more care she was living a couple of states away and wanted to stay there and my boyfriend and I couldn't relocate to be closer to her because of our jobs. A couple of months ago, we went to visit her and discovered the facility she had been in wasn't taking proper care of her. So we took time off work to move her out and try to find a better facility for her to stay in. We came to the mutual decision it would be best to move her to one closer valid valid that's so valid we wanted to make sure we moved her into the right place so we agreed she would stay at our apartment with us for a short period of time until we found it i work in managing a few senior communities okay so i told him i would be able to see the signs of which places were good or not as well as being able to talk to the people i work with to find the best choice i'm not gonna even comment on the fact that they're looking for a home for the mother-in-law or i guess she's not a mother-in-law yet because they're not married they're just boyfriend and girlfriend but i mean if someone has alzheimer's i imagine you would need to have people around her that can help her full-time nurses and stuff so i get why they would want her to stay in a home or anything like that so that's fine um, I tried to explain to him that there's a good facility a couple miles away from where we live But he's not having it. I told him I miss being able to relax and have our own space at our apartment to which he's responded I was being selfish now. This is a tricky one. I feel like This is very tricky. I don't even know if I'm going to do this justice, but we'll see Yesterday I decided to take a tour of the facility by myself and when I told him he became upset and wasn't spoke and hasn't spoken to me since so am i the asshole i know a part of me is being selfish for this but i do also know it would be a much easier on all of us including his mother if she was staying somewhere specifically dedicated to giving her the care she needs so is she the asshole let me know in the comment section you guys but this is so tricky for me because number one this is this guy's mother and i understand when she was living miles and miles away that it could be easy not to want like it could be easy just to out of sight out of mind right but now you've moved her closer to you you're literally leaving her in the same house with her in the same house and obviously they're tr they're starting to develop that relate mother-son relationship that was not there when she was staying so far away she's got alzheimer's now, I, I think alzheimer's is a mental thing like you you forget or something i don't know i'll leave a description here if i'm wrong but it doesn't sound like i don't know you guys i just feel like if it was me and if it was my mom and i was we had moved her into our apartment and now it was time to take her somewhere else go live with people she doesn't even know i would be a little bit resistant as well but i also kind of get where she's coming from because she still wants to have some time alone with with her boyfriend but i don't know i i don't know hey i 
say maybe just live live with her like to live with her i'm sure she's not going to be around forever even if she does it's okay you know i feel like you, you guys can now build you can have a family she'll be around she'll meet the grandkids you know i kind of get why the the boyfriend doesn't want the mom to leave anymore because he's gonna feel like he's deserting his mom so i don't know i think are you the asshole for telling your boyfriend his mom needs to move out? A small piece of me says, yes, you're an asshole. But a bigger piece of me kind of understands where you're coming from. But I still think you are an asshole for this. So, yeah, I'm sorry. He says, am I the asshole? Boyfriend, I'm upset with me and we haven't talked since. Ooh. So the this couple does not believe in not going to bed. Ooh, my earrings match my jacket. Ah, okay. This couple does not believe in not going to bed angry at each other. Like they go to bed angry at each other and that's fine. I guess different strokes of different folks. I, 34 female, have been dating my so SO. What is SO? I hope it's like so it's a, it's a boyfriend of some sort but maybe we'll learn as time goes on so she's been dating as a so for several years we broke up once several years ago this past weekend my family had a cookout with all my extended family i've been looking forward to it for a while since the entire family only gets together approximately once a year valid okay my so joined me what is so it's not sugar daddy because it's so is it soulmate damn y'all if you know what so is please let me know because i'm i'm really trying to understand this this whole message thoroughly and i can't do so if i don't know what so is but it says my so joined me we're gonna say boyfriend okay the boyfriend joined me everything was going well going great until i left to go get a plate of food to go when i came back the first thing i hear from my so stating loudly you won't want to hear this affiliated with one political party but also know that my entire family is of the other party i don't like to fight about politics so i usually just keep quiet when he said this my family started yelling at me my so left the area as soon as my family started yelling at me soon after we left oh so they they at a cookout he the girl is maybe let's say he's she's like she's a democrat the boyfriend is a democrat the family is republicans they are trump people or whatever the case may be you know i'm sorry i don't really understand american politics and as she was away to go get some food some takeaways i guess the boyfriend was speaking to the family and he found out that the family is a family of republicans and he's like oh my god my girlfriend probably is a republican as well so when she gets back he's like that that's just my thoughts but let's find out what actually happened because we can't make up these stories in our heads and expect them to be true okay let's actually read it and see what happened soon after we left i don't like crying in front of people so i waited until i got into the car and started crying girl i would say okay i don't know why you don't like crying in front of people but i would say cry everywhere like just cry 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 i am someone who needs to get into the habit of crying as well so when i get into it i'm not going to just choose pick and choose where i cry or where i don't cry i'm going to cry everywhere anytime is crying time for me thank you very much okay I was hurt that my so gosh but my boyfriend said that in front of my family knowing i didn't like confrontation and knowing my family and i had different political stances when i was crying in the car he asked if i was all right to which i responded no i'm mad are you all right i'm crying what do you mean am i all right he barely said anything on the way home when we got home he said he had to leave and i haven't heard from him since wow I haven't texted or called him either because I felt I feel like I'm owed an apology. Mm. That's where 34 and 40 year olds shock me because you can't say you you haven't called him si since 
and you guys have been dating for several years several years several several years is like five to six years or so so i'm not gonna go two days without calling you even if we're fighting because of wh whatever reason like at this point i feel like it's becoming a thing of you know she's not gonna call him he's not gonna call her so the relationship is just going to die out but that is not very mature and you know <clears throat> i'm not saying i'm the most mature person out here i make mistakes i'm probably still gonna make mistakes i'm only 28 i'm sure by the time i'm 34 i will know exactly what she's talking about but just from right now i feel like if he's not gonna call you you should call him just put your pride aside i don't know why he's not calling you but for the sake of the relationship and because you guys are grown-ups i feel like someone has to call someone you know it's, this is not the early 20s anymore like we're trying to build here we're trying to have relationships we're trying to have babies we're working towards a future you can't not call me and i not call you and we just don't speak just indefinitely no that's not right okay that's just wrong let's not do that already we're doing a lot let's not include not calling each other and checking in on each other onto the list of things that we're doing wrong no i refuse to let that be a thing it's been over a week now and he still hasn't tried to communicate with me or offer an apology am i the asshole for not talking to him because i never got an apology and he left over a week ago and i haven't heard from him since you guys are stressing me out you guys are stressing me out yo 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 <sighs> So I, I guess what I'm getting from this is that it doesn't get better. Just because you get older doesn't mean it gets better relationship-wise. This man is a 40-year-old man. If this was such a problem, her political stance was such a problem, or, or her political, like her family's political stance was such a problem, the least he could have done is called her and said hey you know the fact that your family swing swings this way is a problem for me and therefore i do not want to be associated with you or these people and i would like to break up with you or end this relationship instead of just ghosting her at 40 years of age you're going to ghost someone what happened to communication that's just it's a shock for me i can't believe it and it makes me actually very sad i'm actually very sad to just see this but also on the other hand the fact that she hasn't called him either is just like wow so i'm gonna say you guys are both assholes and i don't like how you guys are dating in your 30s and 40s like you're scaring us you're scaring me because i thought it gets better and it seems it doesn't this one is interesting just from the title uh, already i'm seeing a lot of things that are wrong there but i'll just address it it says am i the asshole for asking my roommate and her boyfriend boyfriend rather not to use my living room there's there's two people living together and each one has their own living room that's the only way that this would make sense it says my apartment has four bedrooms and two living rooms huh i told you the two rooms oh my god wait this is insane two living rooms the two rooms upstairs have a living room and washer dryer the two rooms downstairs have a living room and the kitchen attached me and my partner live downstairs and have furnished and decorated our living room my roommate lynn put less effort into decorating her her living space so her and her boyfriend often use mine and my girlfriend's oh okay so it's a it's a male and female living together our roommate okay it goes to say me and my partner live downstairs and have finished and decorated our living room our roommate lynn puts less effort into decorating her living space so her and her boyfriend often use mine and my girlfriend's living room to watch movies and hang out in so this is a guy who's furnished his part of the downstairs living room and then there's a girl lynn who her living room is upstairs but she hasn't put any effort into finishing it therefore he she uses the downstairs living room my partner and i don't feel comfortable or don't want to use her living room because all of our stuff is down here and our rooms are down here too exactly one day i approached lynn and i told and i let her know that me and my partner want a heads up if they're going to use our living room for a movie night or to hang out in because the living room is like an extension of our bedroom and we don't want it to be the default hangout space since they have their own like why is she even using your living room in the first place 
dates, you know. This girl and her boyfriend are just annoying. Go upstairs, go, go, go to your living room. Stop coming to us. How are you comfortable sitting on someone else's couch, watching someone else's TV? Using someone else's little throw blankie and just comfortably having a movie night date in someone else's living room. No, no ways. <laughs> That's crazy. There's no way you, you can be that comfortable. And as a boyfriend, how are you comfortable cu coming into someone else's, another man's living room and having a date night there? Like, that's just insane. Hi. Y'all are crazy. How old the day doesn't say how old they are. Obviously the kitchen is communal and we have no qualms qualms with that just the hanging out in our living room thing She didn't say anything really after I said my piece and just thought sort of just gave me silent treatment after which I get yeah I'm just wondering if this was an un unreasonable ask I would feel weird going and hanging out in her living room space in her living space So it's just odd that she feels comfortable hanging here I totally get it so anyway am i the asshole no you are not the asshole you're not you're not the asshole 100 she shouldn't feel comfortable doing her in your living space especially with her boyfriend i mean if it's just her maybe hanging out with you and your partner there then fine but coming with her man and bringing popcorn and coming to watch a movie and basically having date nights in a foreign space that's insane so i don't think you're an asshole i think you just had to do what you had to do okay and that's valid and that's fair all right all right guys yeah. that is all the stories that we're going to read today i really hope that you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comment section if you think these people are assholes or not you can just say story number one asshole explain why you feel like the person is an asshole or not an asshole explain why if you have shared a similar experience let me know as well in the comment section and like the video subscribe if you haven't already share with your friends and your loved ones and i will see you in the next one who am i all the niggas around me why did it die gotta watch